OK, well, each week here on Golf Central, we'd like to introduce you to a player you might not know. Dowie van der Walt of South Africa has his PGA Tour card for the second time. He was an All-American at Lamar University, has two wins on the DP World Tour and a 22nd place finish at the Fortinet Championship during the fall season. Kiri K. Dixon went under the radar with van der Walt in San Diego. Davi, I love hearing about how people got their start in golf. So what's your origin story in the game? So I started playing because my dad played golf, um, you know, and the, South Africa's got a really good junior program. That's why you see so many good uh, South African golfers. Um, it's very affordable and cheap if you're, uh, you know, if you're starting out, they make it uh, so all the kids can play in South Africa. And, you know, the program has just been, been unbelievable. and. Um, I joined the Bullock Golf Foundation. Um, I don't know what you would, it's kind of like an AJGA, but more local. And, um, you know, they've provided some good opportunities. We play a lot of uh, junior golf and then club golf, something you don't get in the US that you get in South Africa. Like, it's called a league, so you play for your club. And, um, you know, you play every Sunday, you play 36 holes match play. Wow. Yeah. So it seems to set you up well for, for success in your later career. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it uh, it definitely gets you going and it gets you interested in in the game of golf. So, um, you know, I've got a lot a lot of people to be thankful for, and uh, you know, South African golf is definitely one of them. Obviously, it's taken me a lot longer to play on the PJ Tour. This is my second time around than I would have liked to. You know, I'm 38 years old. Um, it would have been nice if I was 28. Um, so, you know, just keep grinding and, you know, when you don't really have any, uh, any other choice and this is what you chose to do yeah. and you put your mind to it, you just got to do it, yeah. you know, and stick with it. Well, you have had um, a challenge that maybe lots of people could never experience or imagine in life and I'm referring to Hurricane Harvey in 2017 and I know that this is something that's uh, probably difficult for you to revisit but can you tell us uh, that story and how that's impacted yeah, you and your family? Yeah I mean um, you know I still this has been almost it's a little four and a half years later and you know I still get PTSD like I'll dream some nights that and many nights it's getting better but you definitely know what PTSD is like once you've experienced something like that. Um, yeah, you know, just that feeling when you see water coming in your house and you don't know when it's going to stop. It's, it's, you, you can't describe it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a feeling that I wouldn't wish upon anybody. Um, you know, and you see it happen all the time too. Um, you know, it happened at a bad time. I just lost my PJ to a card and, you know, then having to deal with all of that. But, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, made us a lot stronger you know me and my whole family um what what we went through what we went through and uh um you know now looking back at it it, it things could have always been worse of course yeah for those that don't know you you and your family ended up escaping your home via boat and then and you had to come back can you explain that part of the story we, we escaped via kayak first okay. of all and then the the current in the street was so strong that a boat came and i put my my wife and daughters on it and then i climbed on the kayak because i was pushing them out and then i kayaked out of there um yeah you know <laughs> you've seen boats driving up and down your street it's you, you, you can't describe the, the scene to somebody. It's, mm -hmm. it's just unbelievable. Now that you are back on the PGA Tour, what, what is different for you? You know, not a whole lot. I still feel the same amount of pressure. I thought it'd be a little bit easier as I got older, but you know, it's just still, it's golf. It's hard. The golf course is hard. There's a lot of good players. Um, you know, nothing, nothing's really different. It's still the same game. It's just, you know, it's a little bit more pressure. And I'm trying to figure out how to deal with the pressure for sure. Yeah. Uh, so what do you what do you do about that? You know, I try not to think about it too much, and I try to look back at the times when I was playing well, mm -hmm. and try and kind of do the same things. Um, it hasn't been working out as of late, but you know, I hope to turn it around at some point. You know, and just kind of feel the calmness that I did when I played the Corn Ferry Tour, because you've been out there so many years. But now it's new golf courses. You have all of this new stuff. You have to learn. You know, if you're not n more nervous, I don't think you're human, you know, it's just you got to figure out how to deal with it. I've been doing it my whole life and, uh, 
you know, it's just, I don't know if you can teach it. This is something you got to overcome, you know? Absolutely. Well, we really appreciate you sharing your story with us and best of luck the rest of the week and the season. Sure. Thank you so much, Karen. Thanks, Gary. A remarkable man with an amazing story. Really nice to go under the radar there uh, with Kira and shine a light on someone who we wouldn't necessarily be looking at. So this was Dowie's uh, opening round scorecard today. Two birdies, one bogey, opening round one under 71 on the north course. Uh, so keep an eye out for him.